How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be taking you on a ride and an FPV flight up in the local mountains. Um, the audio on my Insta360 for some reason did not record so I had to do a voiceover on this first section of the video. But here we are, we are heading down through a small town named Abitaleri. Uh We're just passing through the centre of the town and we're going to head up to the mountain in Kumtaleri. The drone we're using today is the 9 inch, um, if you look at my previous videos I did a build video on it and today we're just going to go out and have a relaxing flight up the local mountains on a sunny day and take you along and talk about the drone a little bit and show you the process it takes and getting some of the footage. Once we get past all this traffic we'll start heading up the uh, mountain in Kuntaleri. Uh, we're not far from the starting point so just enjoy the views and enjoy me riding on a bike. I also thought this would be a different video from the norm. Um, I don't see many videos online of people showing the adventure to get in these, some of these uh, footage from a drone so I thought it was a good opportunity to take you along on a ride. Okay, so we reached the starting point. Uh, once you get through this gate, we're going to start heading up to the top, and then from there, we're going to get to our first flying point. Uh, in total, we've got three flying spots today, so just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so uh, I've got the GoPro out now, I'm recording the sound on the GoPro, so the audio isn't going to be the best. I know a lot of you have been asking recently uh, when this drone is going to be released. Um, I simply haven't had the time to finish it off. Uh, the things I want to change on this is the way the plates are mounted on the top section. Uh, at the moment I got them bolted underneath and to be honest it's a bit of a nightmare to work on it if you need to so the goal is to make some aluminium plates so that the top plates can be unscrewed off very easily and maintained very simply as well so until i get that right uh this drone will not be available uh i don't really want to release a half baked product so you guys who actually want this drone you're gonna have to wait sorry i'm afraid another thing as well um, I'll get a close-up here, oh, the screen's turned off, these arms by here, I have got 5mm struts going through it and a nylock nut on the bottom, what I want to do is change that to a press nut uh, on the top section and then it could just be bolted underneath to make things a little easier to put together, other than that everything is pretty much done. So until I do them two things, you guys are going to have to wait, I'm afraid. But I'll take you along uh, flying this drone anyway. We got a few scuffs marks as well. This is from the Swiss Alps. Um, we got the T-Motor Cine 8.5 inch props on this. Uh, we are running Brother Hobby 1300 KV. Yes, the KV is a little high, but this is what I wanted on this setup. Uh, you could probably run 1100 kV which would be more suited for longer flight times but I wanted the extra speed um, the, well the faster cruising speeds as such so that's what I decided to go with um, if you see my build video you can get the full detail on what is in this frame but today the goal is just to do some flying uh, we're going to be heading down that way in just a sec 
when I set up. Um, it took us about half hour to get up here, so not too bad. This is going to be our first flying spot. The next flying spot is going to be over there somewhere by the turbines. Get a beautiful view of the lakes of Kumtaleri. So that is our goal today. We've only got three batteries, so it's going to be short flights. Nothing crazy. So yeah, let's get it done. So what I'll do now, plunk that on the floor and tell you the batteries I'm running as well. So the batteries I've decided to use today, uh, get out the sun, these 3,500 milliamp packs from GNB. They keep the drone nice and light, not too heavy, and it feels great when you're flying these, but you don't get the longer flight times. You can usually get about 10 minutes out of these packs uh, without pushing them too crazy, but these haven't been charged in a while, so I'm not expecting uh, great things from these. Same goes, I got a 4,000 milliamp pack here from GMB as well. This gets literally no more flight time than these. Uh, considering it's an old pack, I don't expect it to perform as good as them. These are slightly newer, so these are probably about a year old. So it does the job, so that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, we'll get one flight in here, like I said, I'll set up now. And uh, the transmitter I'm using, if you're interested, is the, just sorry, is the T20. And inside I've got internal crossfire, which works great with this setup. And then we got two Immortal Ts on the frame as well. That works perfectly. <laughs> so I'll set it up now, and we'll do a little flight video. And we'll go from there. first flight on the nine inch sadly the wind is a bit more than I expected uh, when I'm heading down that direction you were literally banked over that way to the point where you're literally flying at a dodgy angle just to get it to go straight but never mind um, it's quite not so windy by here we, we're like covered by the ground it's going straight over the top of us so you don't really notice it until you get in the air what we'll do now is we'll head over to the turbines uh, we'll get a good video over there hopefully but maybe this spot would be a lot better like I said earlier in the sunset where the sun is just dipping over there it would be pretty much perfect for that but with these conditions today not so good but what we'll do we head over there and see what we can come up with so I've packed up I took the drone on the back of the backpack and uh, we'll head our way over let's turn the bike on and we'll head over to the turbines so let's go I'm kind of dreading this part up here as well because we've had a lot of rain and I'm guaranteed a few of the motorbikers have been up here and completely destroyed it furthermore so it's going to be an absolute bog as we get uh, closer to the turbines oh, almost went in that puddle then and again can't get my balance right with this big weight on my back. It does throw you off quite a bit. But uh, yeah, as soon as we get closer to the uh, turbines, it'll get worse. So yeah, the turbines are over there. Uh, I got a bit of a trail to go around it. And once I get over there, that's gonna be our second flight. 
get some cool footage over there if we can and then we'll go down to the lake try and get some footage there and we head on back home the downhill here heading down to the turbines and this is where we're going to start to run into some mucky dirty mud so i'm trying to avoid getting plastered in it if i didn't have the drone on my back i would just be flying down here but today is going to be a nice easy ride oof yes that's not good should have went that way more mud uh, I think that way is bad so we'll try and keep this side of it Oof. yep that's the bad side <laughs> ah more puddles with no way through let go over this way yeah made it Oof, puddles, more puddles. Right, so new battery in. I spent most of the battery talking to people, but there we go, it is what it is. Just checking I haven't forgot anything. There we go, we got our perfect line. So we're at our second flying spot, um, got our drone set up, our line is going to be across those turbines there, straight across the mountain and then I'll head on way back. <laughs> completed our second flight I'm um, just packing up now and heading down to the last spot uh, the battery on that one didn't last too long um, I think that is one of the packs I had laying around fully charged for a while so I didn't expect much from it so I just flew around the turbines uh, trying to avoid the propellers on them because I didn't want to run into them uh, I did run into some brownouts some mini brownouts when I started flying in line with the masts uh, with the crossfire so I've experienced that before so uh, that was expected but it's a nice looking landscape in the summer it would look a lot nicer uh, but as we're heading into the winter everything's starting to die out so it doesn't look as green so yeah so we head down now and uh, we'll get our last light in then we head on back to the home and wash the bike down the bike is absolutely stinking just from going over those paths covered in mud so never mind it is what it is so that's my job when i get back uh, my drone didn't cover, get covered in mud either so that's a plus we can head down now and get our last flight in And this is where they're going to test my mount on the 360 camera. I'm not surprised if it falls off. 
so we'll see. It gets very bumpy down here. So we're at our final spot of the day. We've got the Cutlery Reservoir down by there. Stunning view of the autumn trees. Uh, we're going to get a flight in by there and then we're going to head back. Uh, because of everything that's in the way, we've got a lot of uh, blind spots here. We're going to head up over there, over to the top, and then dive down here and probably go across the lake. A little bit i'm not sure i think there is a uh, fisherman down there so i'd like to avoid them um, i think there's a guy on the end so we try to avoid that we might not even bother going over the lake yet um, we gotta avoid all these trees as well so we don't lose video in our crossway so our main best bet is dive down there head over the lake and then come back so I set up the drone now. <coughs> uh, just need to turn it on and uh, we'll get our flight in. on back now edit the video and call it a day uh, the nine inch performed pretty flawlessly I've had no issues with it whatsoever um, the tune could be a little bit better but overall it's flying fantastic uh, it's a very rigid frame so it performs really well and for cruising I think it's just a perfect drone for cruising it's not too big and not too small um, it's ideal for me uh, it fits on your back with ease I don't have no problems or struggles, so that's that. There's a bunch of uh, hikers on their way up here now, so I'll call it a day here, and I'll head back on down, and uh, edit the video, and uh, we'll see you till next time. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my journey today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.